you know, Lou, we, you know, we can sit here thinking, well, what can we do about this? We're frustrated. Uh, people are frustrated. People are atomized to such a degree, even though we're so interconnected. And one of the things I'm so grateful for, and I know Ron is too, is you're going to come to Washington, D.C. next month with us. You're going to meet with our group. We're going to have a great conference. Uh, we are so looking forward to it. Uh, uh, you do tons of these conferences, Lou. Are the, do you think they're successful in, in helping move our message? Sure. Of course they do. It's, it's important that we, we all need friends. We all need compatriots uh, when we're engaged in a difficult fight. So this is one of the great things about the Ron Paul Conference last year in Washington. Uh, tough to think anything good can happen in the Washington area, but you show that it's actually possible. And uh, so there was 300, more than 300 people came from all over the world, uh, went away inspired um, to work harder, and uh, went away, of course, as even more devoted uh, supporters of Dr. Paul. Um, it's going to be the same thing this year. So this is very, very important in building a movement. And then, of course, you have the YouTubes and, and um, audios of the conference. Uh, but you, it's building a movement. So uh, the peace movement uh, has had a rough time. First of all, it turned out that the left-wing peace movement turned out to be just a bunch of baloney. They were only interested in peace if it was uh, um, George W. Bush fighting the wars. <laughs> I must say the left seems even worse today. They, they seem even more war, a warmonger even when, when Trump is in charge. Uh, so uh, the conservatives, by and large, of course, have always been terrible on the war issue. Libertarians, a lot of good libertarians, a lot of bad libertarians, but there are good people really from the left, from the right, from libertarianism, uh, from all different aspects of American society who feel alone, they feel isolated, they need an inspiration. This is the job of Ron Paul, it always has been. So what you're going to be doing in this conference in Washington, and really if anybody cares about the issue of peace, if you're worried about the hysteria that's coming out of Washington these days, whether it's you know sending ch destroyers into to uh, buzz China or planes to buzz Russia or uh, all these horrendous threats against North Korea and who knows what the heck that could eventuate in. Um, if, you, if you're concerned about that kind of thing, if you want comrades, if you want to get together and work and come up with new ideas about what we can do and how things are not lost, how we do have the truth on our side, come to this conference on September 9th uh, at Dallas Airport, uh, out, I'm, I'm glad to say actually outside of Washington <laughs> in, in the suburban Virginia. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be inspiring. You're going to meet great friends, make friends. It's, uh, it's a tremendous experience, and it's cheap, by the way. Tell us about the price, Daniel. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, we keep the cost down, thankfully, because we have some wonderfully generous backers. But $75 for all day of speakers, plus a very nice lunch. Most of these lunches can often be bad, but this is actually a really good one. The price alone would be worth it just to see you and Ron speaking. Uh, no doubt, but we have some great other speakers as well. We have Scott Ritter. Here's a man who was right about Iraq when he was the UN chief weapons inspector. He was right all along. They ridiculed him. They said he was full of beans. <laughs> Turns out history's vindicated him. We have John Kiriakou who blew the whistle on CIA torture. What did they do? Change their policy? No, they threw him in jail. <laughs> we have Peter Van Buren who said billions and billions were being wasted in Iraq on ridiculous reconstruction things. They pulled a security clearance and tried to kick him out of the State Department. Uh, we have uh, so many others. Phil Giraldi is going to join us again. Great insights into the intelligence community. So many more. We're so excited, and we're so excited to have to you, and, you and Ron with us, too. So uh, thank you so much, Lou. Well, it's going to be a great time. And really, if, if anybody, again, is concerned about the issues of war and peace, as Murray Rothbard always said, this is the most important issue for a libertarian always. Uh, so if you're concerned about that, if you are pessimistic and you need a shot of optimism and need to understand why things are not lost, uh, why there are good things happening, and also just to have a great time, to have a lot of fun, to laugh, to laugh at the right people, to be inspired by Ron Paul, to say hello to Ron Paul, shake his hand, thank him, uh, come to this conference on September 9th for $75. I mean, there's, you know, given what the Fed has given to the, done to the dollar, could there be a better value? There's no better value. So I, I urge everybody, please come to this conference. We're going to have so much fun. We're going to do so much good. 
It's going to be wonderful. Wonderful. And uh, you've really stole my thunder because uh, I was going to emphasize something. And that was, you know, things are so depressing at times if you dwell on our problems. But the point that if you come together, you're supposed to have fun. I especially always mention this when I talk to the college kids, you know, coming together. But Lou, you did a better job than I've ever done about emphasizing the importance of getting together with like-minded people. And uh, for that reason, uh, most people come away very optimistic. When I talk to the large groups on college campuses, uh, I would talk a lot about our serious problems, and but I talked about what the answer, uh, answer is. And usually the answer was very very short compared to describing the problem. But most of them came away optimistic, and I think that's great. You touched on that. You did a much better job. But Lou, I want to thank you very much for being with us today, and we're looking forward to seeing you pretty soon at our conference. This September, the Ron Paul Institute is storming Washington, D.C. See Ron Paul, Daniel McAdams, and an all-star lineup of speakers live for a truly memorable experience. Get your tickets today at ronpaulinstitute.org backslash conference.